The Consolidated Sciences Library will provide the optimal environment to support research, teaching, and learning in the sciences. Working with researchers and students both on the Chapel Hill campus and at a distance, the library has a tradition of being an anchor for the academic community, providing an environment for inspiration, learning, and discovery. With an integration of resources and technical expertise, and of a relatively small paper reference collection, so much more can be offered than in the current arrangement of branch libraries where each one of the subjects stands by itself. Science has played an important role at Carolina since its earliest days. As departments in the sciences evolved, growing subject collections were located in proximity to faculty offices and laboratories. By the end of World War II, the science libraries had grown into reputable resources of a major research university. Today, these branch libraries support teaching and research in natural and physical sciences as well as other disciplines across campus. Over the years, the science branch library space and infrastructure have become outdated, as has the model for separately administered collections. Existing spaces are heavily used, but need to be updated and reconfigured for greater efficiencies. The Future Consolidated Sciences Library offers an opportunity to not only be the library of the future, but it also could be a window into the past. Opportunities exist to host exhibit space in order to showcase the sciences of the UNC of yesteryear. UNC Library holds the original library of Elisha Mitchell, the centerpiece of the library's collection from this time period. It is one of the three best antebellum collections of science in the country. The library is absolutely crucial to the research and teaching that we do here at the university. Uh, it is the ready access to the literature that forms the foundation of all that we do as scientists. In planning our research, an important component in the preparation of grant proposals um, is the access to the literature. Uh, the planning of the actual experiments requires ready access to uh, previous work in the field. Interpretation of the data itself also uh, requires access to the literature, and uh, in particular publication, citations and, and uh, the preparation of manuscripts also requires uh, access to the, to the scientific literature. In terms of teaching, keeping up to date with progress in the field uh, is a very important role. Uh, extending the course and presentation into new areas is also of great importance. And of course, providing resources for students to explore topics in greater detail is another really important aspect of the library. For one of the projects I'm working on, it requires lots of specialized um, mathematical modeling and numerical analysis software. And unfortunately, there's really few places on campus which um, have the software and the high-end computers that are required for it available. But I think it would be really nice if um, a future library had an advanced computing center where researchers could get together and work on such projects. One of the things that I would find incredibly useful would be to have a number of private study rooms that were open into late hours. So for example, if um, people were working on a research project or working on a problem set and they needed some place to meet, they could have a place to go and work on it. But also, I really like the idea of having a combined science library because many of the projects that people work on now don't simply fall into one um, very well-defined field such as physics or chemistry, but everything's going between the different fields. One of our biggest opportunities is to transfer traditional library services to the academic scientists in order to meet their quickly and dramatically changing needs in the areas of mass data storage, software for visualization, structural data, extraction, and simulation. The library also recognizes that today's scientists work in large teams that are multidisciplinary and geographically dispersed, and it wants to design its facilities and services to meet these new realities. The Consolidated Sciences Library will feature state-of-the-art instruction and technology lab space to support specialized library services in the physical and life sciences, bio and chemical informatics, mathematics and computer science, and cross-disciplinary work. It will feature different spaces for different types of learning, from quiet and contemplative to collaborative and interactive. It will be a central space in the science complex for meeting with colleagues and inspiring ideas and discoveries. It will be staffed with a team of professionals to assist with sharing of knowledge.
Increased efficiencies gained in operations will offer greater opportunities for outreach and collaboration with the other collections on campus, such as the Health Sciences Library, another top-notch and recently renovated library on the UNC campus. It's the library that provides us with this access and it is absolutely crucial that, that we support this.